G'day guys, I'm Biggest Kev, welcome to my channel. And I've received some mail from Gavin. Gavin from uh, Victoria in Australia. Yeah, he's kindly sent me some rocks and I think some pay dirt. Here's a little package here. Now, just before I open it, I just want to show, uh, just want to show you something. Right. This, cost, this cost Gavin $19. He paid $19 to post this package to me. And it weighs 2 kilos. 2.09 kilos. That. And yeah, and it's cost Gavin $19. I just want to show you something. To make it cheaper for you to, to post stuff, whether you're posting it to me or when I post stuff out to you guys, um, I'll put them in one of those little postage packs unless it's, if it's a letter then it's going to be cheaper anyway but these little postage packs here and I'll just give you as a close-up it's a prepaid I hope you can see that Where are we? there we are parcel post prepaid and this is only in Australia too guys only you can only use these to post in Australia okay now these cost $12 $11.90 for one of these prepaid packages and you can post up to five kilos so Gavin's parcel was 2.9 kilos so Gavin you could have saved yourself what seven dollars yeah anyway um, I'm only just showing you that because I'm on a pension so I know what it's like you know to um, penny pinch and that yeah so yeah, where were we? Anyway, I've shown you the, the gist of it anyway. So if you want to save a few dollars on postage in Australia, when you're posting around in Australia, get yourself pre prepaid um, satchel, and you can get it. That's a small one. That's $12, $11.90 there. You can get the medium one and the larger one. They're a bit dearer, but you can uh, put more, uh, more kilos in them. So this, pre this small one, small bag I've got, uh, you can post up to up to five kilos maximum. Yeah. Anyway, I'll get on with it. I've dribbled on enough about that. I'll um, get on to opening up this box. First of all, Gavin said he has put a message in the in the envelope for me. So I'll just get this. I'll get the message out and we'll see what Gavin's written to me. Oh no! What have I done? I think I've destroyed the envelope. Oh no, I've cut the I've cut it in half, Gavin. <laughs> oh, what have I done? Gavin, I've cut your, your note, mate. I've cut it in half. Look. What's that? It's a ribbon. Oh no. Let's see if I can see if I can read it. Oh no, I can't. I'll slice through it. Hang on. Bear with me guys. Here we are. I could um, I could edit edit it this and and sticky tape it up, but I'm not going to. Rightio, I've got the letter. I've joined it together. Here we go. G'day, Kev. How you doing? I'm doing well, thanks, Gavin. Hope you're doing great and getting out, finding some yellow. Yeah, I've been getting out, but. Nah, no yellow so far, only um, microscopic stuff. Sending you some rocks and panning cons for you to play with. I found this at El Dorado, Victoria, and in and around the famous Reedy Creek. Hope you enjoy. Cheers, Gavin. Uh, what's he got here? P.S. Would love to know what the large, shiny, dark rock is and if it's okay please return to me of course mate yeah okay let's have a look here i'll just set you up a bit better guys so you can you can see what i'm doing right oh now gavin's really put a a mile of tape on this I 
got to figure out how to open it up. Just talk amongst yourselves, guys, while I figure, figure out how to open this box. What is going on here, Gavin? Here we are. This is not the correct way to open it, but it will do. Righto. Oh, he's got some, some nice looking rock in there. Right, yeah. Okey dokus. Now, there's the panning material. Obviously, it's nice and fine. These are the rocks. Yeah, this is that please identify and cut. Rightio. Oh, this is a nice looking rock. I don't know what it is, Gavin. Check this out, guys. Look at this cool looking rock. I'll tell you what it looks like to me. It looks like black jasper or black jade. That's what it looks like. I, poss I possibly could be wrong. I can see some uh, brown in there. But what I'll do with this, I'll, I'll cut it. I'll cut it straight down the middle, straight down there, lengthways. I'll cut it straight through the middle and then we'll have a look, see what's inside it. What else has Gavin got here? There's some more rocks here for me. That's another, another rock. That sort of looks like quartz. That's a smoky quartz, yeah. Yeah, I think you've got that written on there, have you? Please, polish. I can't tumble it, because I've got a tumbler, Gav, but, um... Yeah, I can't tumble them. I can cut them and polish them. That's smoky. That would look nice, cut and polished. We've got some more rocks here. Oh, I see. These won't be much good because um, they're all fractured. I can just tell by looking at it. This is like a a uh, not a well like a conglomerate type stone. It's um it's all cemented together. It's all sand and that. It's all just cemented together. You can see the the flashes in there. The the um well, it's not pyrite. Yeah, I've forgotten the name of it. But there's quite a few stones Gavin's put in here. I might be able to just cut these, cut one end, Gavin, and just um, like face cut it and polish it for you. Some of those rocks. And he's got another bag here. Looks like little, little gem, jemmy looking rocks. Oh yeah, smoky quartz. There's some more of that smoky quartz, guys. Yeah. He's got a he's got a bag full of the stuff here for me. Okie doke. Rightio. So what I'll do What I'll do guys is I'll pan out this material. This um looks like river sand. Yeah. Okay, so that's what I'll do guys, I'll set up my panning station, we'll pan this out, we'll see how much gold's in it, and the rocks, I'll have to cut them another time, maybe I might show them on my next video, um, Gavin's rocks all cut and polished, sweet, that's what we'll do, okay guys, to the panning station. Okay guys, pan number one of Gavin's material that he sent me. From uh, I think he's, he's got this from a river. I didn't even worry about screening it out, guys. I just because it was a bit damp, so I just left it in olus bolus. That's a piece of um, smoky quartz. 
yeah, I didn't worry about um, classifying it. I just, yeah, just do it as is. I can see the black sand. Looks like a lot of black sand in there. And uh, this is very, uh, I really appreciate you guys sending me stuff like this, as I said. Um, with, with that, with those rocks that, that Gavin sent me, I'll, uh, I'll cut them and I'll polish them and I'll send them back to Gavin. And I've got some rocks there. I've got West Australian rock, actually, um, that you can't get over east. And, what I'll do is I'll polish some of that up and I'll send it to you, um, Gavin, in appreciation for you sending me the, the um, gold pay dirt and, and rocks and stuff. I'll, uh, I'll send you something back in return, mate. I've got some tiger eye there. I might cut a piece of that tiger eye and polish it up and send it your way, as well as your, um, well as, as well as those, the rocks that you want me to, to return. Look at all this. Black sand guys. Right oh. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's have a look guys. Let's see if we can get some gold. And I'll I'm probably pulling it back a bit quick, but that's alright. I'll I can redo all this as I do. I can see a shotgun pallet. Shotgun pallet right there guys. I think I, I think I saw a piece of gold then. That's gold there coming back. I've got the sun shining on me. I've got my reading glasses on. And the sun's shining and it's reflecting off my glasses. That's making it hard for me to see. I can see all this gold coming back. All that fine gold. Uh, what I'll do, I'll get it down reasonably clean and then I'll suck it up with a snuffer bottle and then I'll pan another lot. I hope you can see all that gold there guys, just all those little specks of gold up, up there at the top of the pan. Yeah, cool. I'll get back to you with another pan guys. Okay, pan number two. And uh, there's a big, big chunk of glass here. This has definitely come out of the river, this material. Look at that, guys. Big chunk of old bottle, a bit of glass. That'll be from the old boys. There's a piece of quartz. Right, yeah. Let's see how, see how we go with this lot. I've got enough material there for one more pan after this one. So maybe all the nuggets are in the bottom of the bag. So the last the last pan I'll do, maybe the, the nuggets will be in there. Plenty of black sand in this material. Oodles. Oodles of black sand. I'll have to keep all that. I'll keep all the black sand. I'll do a smelt. And I'll melt all the black sand as you've seen in my previous videos where I'll smelt the black sand to recover the super fine gold. Let's have a look at this lot. I can see garnet. See that little red garnet just there in front of my finger? Little red garnet. Yeah, so I'll um, I'll end up panning all this again. Oh, look at those big pieces of gold. I'll pan this all again, and all this black sand. I'm going to keep it all because I know there's fine gold in there. 
and I'm going to smelt it. And I've got other black sand I've been saving up. And a mate of mine now, um, Andy. Andy from Poverty Prospecting. And he's collecting all the black sand up for me. He's going to send it my way. Once he gets enough to send, he's going to send me some of his black sand from the creek that he's working. Right, see that, see that guy at the back of the pan? There you guys. A couple of nice little uh, flakes there and there's a couple of fine pieces over here. Okay, I'll snuff it up and I'll get back to you with the last pan. Okay, pan number three and the last pan, guys. Let's see what we can get out of here. I'll see another piece of, what's that? Piece of glass. It's got green glass and clear glass. Yeah. I don't know if that's how it was. It come off a, a glass ornament or something, or whether it's just been in a fire and it's melted together. Yeah, two pieces of glass just fused together. That's what it looks like. Okay, let's see if there's any nuggets in this pan. The last pan of Gavin's material. I love doing this stuff. Get it right down to the threads of the black sand. Okay. Let's see if we can get a, a nice big chunker out of this pan. I can see gold. I can see gold. Oh, it looks like, I oh, know, might be just um, orange crystals, like garnets coming back. I don't know. Or is it gold? No, it looks a bit light. Looks a bit light to be gold. Here's a other shotgun pallet. See if we can get a nice flake. I can see gold. The fine pieces. Just some super fine specks back there, guys. I hope you can see them just in there. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll empty the snuffer out when I clean this up. I'll empty the snuffer into the pan and just show you the gold. Okay, let's see what we got. A couple of nice flakes there. A whole lot of little ones. That's all right. It all adds up. It all goes into my account. All that big piece is sitting up there. I'll see if I can get it all all up there so you can see it all. Okay, okay guys. I'll never get this around the sun a bit. Let's pull this around here. So I can get the sun on it. Let's see if I can zoom this in. I'll take photos anyway, guys. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if you can see the gold up the back of the pan there. That's a bit of a shadow on it. Okay, I'll take photos and I'll get back to you at the wrap up. Okay, well, that was cool. Thank you very much, Gavin. I appreciate you, man. Appreciate all you guys sending me stuff. Um, and on that, I've got one of these 
these books. Now, it's going to k.parker. And if you're watching this, you'll know who you are. Um, could you please send me an email? Um, because I think I think you did send me an email. Anyway, I've lost the email and I haven't got your address. So k.parker, I'll put your name up here. If you can email me your postal address, I'll send this out to you. Okay, cool. Uh, what else was I going to say, guys? Um, yeah, I'll put some photos up of that gold that was in that pay dirt. And those rocks, Gavin, what I'll do is, that, that big one, I'll cut that up and I'll polish, I'll, I'll cut it straight down the middle. I'm thinking, gee, I'll tell you what, it looks like a, it looks like it's either a black jasper or, or it's, um, it's jade, mate. Um, and if it's jade, it's worth a lot of money. But it pro it's probably not. Anyway, I'll cut that, I'll polish, up, polish them up, I'll take photos, and I'll, on my next video I'll put the photos up to show everyone. But I'll, I'll send them back to you, Gavin those rocks and some of those other rocks if I cut them and they come out come out all right I'll polish them up and I'll send you some West Australian rocks mate uh, there would be some tiger eye maybe some banded banded um, iron some of that stuff with the red and the black stripes yeah I've got some of that stuff lying around so I'll cut a bit up for you um, I think that's about it guys that's all I wanted to say thank you very much for watching my videos for subscribing and um, helping my channel grow. I appreciate that. Appreciate you all. Stay safe out there. Oh, who's going to send me a tip, guys? It'll be too late anyway. Who's going to win the Melbourne Cup? I don't even know any of the names of the horses running. Wouldn't have a clue. Anyway, good luck. I hope you have a win, guys. If you put a bet on the, on the Cup. Take care out there, boys and girls. Be good. And I'll see you on the next one. I'll probably be, be out bush somewhere, I imagine. Thanks a lot, Gavin.